Hello Libra, this is your monthly reading for May. I've been doing the monthly readings for about two years now and previously I specified the moon. I call these my moon readings, but I feel like that confused people. So, no moss. This could be for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars, and or Mercury. However, I do suggest when watching the monthly readings, you watch for your Moon sign. That doesn't resonate. Watch for your Mercury. I've made a few videos explaining why I believe the Moon and Mercury are the keys to sinistry. Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars, and or Mercury, May 2021. Six cards. Bueno. Ocho de Oros, Eight of Pentacles. Sota de Oros, Page of Pentacles. La Sacerdotisa, the High Priestess. Ocho de Copas, Eight of Cups. Ses de Espadas, Six of Swords. Ray de Copas, King of Cups. This is who you're dealing with. This person probably has strong cancer in his or her natal chart because we have the High Priestess, which is Cancer, over the King of Cups. So, I feel like you're in this long distance relationship and you've been in this for a while, years in some cases. And you go back and forth, you think, there's a depth I'm never going to get to with this person. I should walk away. Every time I try to walk away, something makes me turn around and stay. And I can't tell you why. I can't tell you why by the Eagles. So this person has a strong pull on you. They have a hold on you. Um, you probably have pretty energetic sinistry. You could have the sun-moon conjunction. You could have the moon conjunction. Moon's in opposition. Something is going on here. But for you to have been in this relationship as long as you have and for the page of pentacles to be showing up, that's not good. The page of pentacles is minimal effort. It could be you feel like you're spinning your wheels in the mud. You feel like you're waiting for something to manifest that will never manifest. Like it's only going to get so deep with this person. It's only going to be so involved. At the very least, you're wanting to move in together. And this person's resisting that. That's what I'm getting. Didn't do this for the previous readings, but... Please clarify Eight of Pentacles over Eight of Cups, one card. It feels faded. It feels like this is your person. You're supposed to be together. All this resistance, the Eight of Basso, Seven of Wands. Please clarify Page of Pentacles over Six of Swords, one card. Making myself look at the camera more. I look down at the cards a lot. Three of the Oros, Three of Pentacles. So there's stuff here. You have things in common. You have shared values, shared interests. The sex is really good. Please clarify the High Priestess over King of Cups. One card. Dos de Espadas. Two of Swords. Communication is terrible. It's sporadic. Um... And when you're in a long-distance relationship, you really need the communication to be top-notch. This person could be a workaholic. They're prioritizing their career over this relationship. If anyone moves, it's going to have to be you. This person is very rooted in their community. You would have to uproot your life to live with this person. Why is there so much resistance in this relationship? One card. Why all this resistance? What's going on?
This person's just giving the bare minimum. They're not fully embodying this King of Cups energy. They're not being emotionally available. They're not being generous. You could have different love languages. Their love language could be gifts. And for you, it's time and attention. And you're not getting enough time. You're not getting enough attention from this person. What is the outcome? I'm pulling a lot of cards for this reading because it's just it's really confusing. We're not even at six minutes yet. What is the outcome for this connection, this relationship? Three more cards. Trace, Moss, four, five, four. I just see all this hair. So we had a tornado warning in San Antonio last night. Nothing happened. There was just a lot of rain and a lot of hell. I like the rain. I like the rain. I don't like tornadoes. Queen of Pastos, Queen of Wands. You know what you want. You're showing up. You're giving your 110%. You're owning your Queen of Wands energy. Um, although Libra's air, you probably have some stuff in fire. Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, you've got something in fire, but you have total confidence. You know who you are. You know what you bring to the table. And this person's just not really showing up. La Torre, the tower. There could be a tower moment. There could be a confrontation. There could be a confrontation. There could be um, something that leads to this ending. Maybe the boss, those not the ones. I see you staying in this, even though you're not being deeply gratified. You're staying in this, and I see the other person resisting, and that's just going to continue. Certainly for May, I don't see you really getting anywhere in this relationship. It feels like you're spinning your wheels in the mud. My God, I have drawn so many cards for Libra. And we're not even at eight minutes yet. Any advice from Spirit? Three more cards. Trace Moss, four, five, four. Any advice for Libra regarding this relationship? In the words of Outcast, you know what to do. Come on now. Sing of the Bastos, Five of Wands. So that they Bastos, Page of Wands, lots of page energy. Maybe this person is a single parent. Maybe they had two, three, four kids. I don't know. And they're going to a lot of soccer games and um, karate tournaments. They could be a single parent. The four was Ace of Pentacles. Stop. Stop. Collaborate and listen. Vanilla eyes. Just stop. If you're getting all this resistance from this person, and it's just this constantly. Just put down your sticks. Focus on yourself. Your self care. Your coin. Um, if you find yourself overextending, you're doing all the giving. Uh, you're the one initiating contact. You're the one getting on the plane and flying to this person, and they never come to see you. And it's just, it's imbalanced. Just stop. Take care of yourself. Go in deep. Check in with your higher self, your intuition. And ask yourself. As good as the sex is, as much as I love this person, what am I really getting out of this finally? How am I benefiting from this association? Ask the hard questions. So, that's 
what I have for Libra for May. Thank you all so much for watching. Peace out.